Good evening, welcome to my channel. Um, I've got a little a bit of a surprise really, um, something I ordered, uh, didn't expect it to come this soon. Um, I meant to do a, uh, a comparison video on some T uh, Strat type guitars, but because this came in, I've just got a slight change of plan. I'm still going ahead to make uh, upload that video with you know two uh, Strat type guitars, but I thought I couldn't wait because I get excited about opening presents and things like that. So um, it's something I always wanted. I haven't got it in my collection. Um, so without sort of any delay, um, let's get stuck in. As you can see, no guesses what it is, it's um, from Toman. Um, so decent um, lead. Okay. The heat bag. No damage to the boxes, it all seems to be all in one piece. Cubie thing say it's been checked. Um, truss rod, truss rod, and okay. 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 In case of emergency, rescue my guitars.
making sure there's no damage. So far, so good. Um, just adjust this a minute. Take these plastics off the pickups. Okay. Wow. Sort of a, it reminds me of um, in a strange sort of a way um, my Gibson 2008 Warm Cherry stripped down and no binding nothing it was just let me just check the actual fretboard the ends of the frets okay the edges seem to be rolled as well wow Um, right, the the only thing that I can see um, on the E string, um, the top, the bottom E, it, it could have been slightly a bit better, um, but that's nothing I can do that. But the rest of it seemed okay. The top E is fine, just the bottom E. It just needs to be cut down a little bit. Right, let's have a look. I'll stop it. <laughs> Can you believe that? It's actually in tune. The guitar is actually in tune. Um, the, the plan was to um, upload uh, the next video about um, to alternatives to a, a strap type guitar for people who cannot afford to pay the prices of a Sir, a Fender, uh, American made strap, and even a Mexico, they've got very limited budgets. Um, so it will give me some time um, to get used to this guitar to make any adjustments yeah what's the action like do you know what do you know what? I, can't, I can't i can't stop this too much i'm just going to plug it in this is not a proper review it's just no, just to make sure um i don't i don't want any nasty surprises the neck's okay, it's no broken, nothing. Um, I, I like the tuners, they're being too correct. Um, okay, it's actually made in Indonesia. I don't know if you can see that. Because Indonesia has an excellent reputation for making some high-end um, guitars for well-known brands so I'm just I'm just amazed I mean one of the videos I, I, I made somebody in the comment mentioned that I should check these out um, um, I'm not really a, a kind of um, punk type of um, guitarist and nothing like that but these guitars are supposed to be really versatile and the thing is I haven't got a P90 guitar the nearest thing I've got 
is that SG um, Columbus, which has got single coils and acts like a P90. There's no feedback in it, which is amazing. It's wax potted, I don't know if something to do is, but these are supposed to be notorious for feeding back. But we'll see. But I'm just going to, you know, I'm curiosity's got the better of me. Oh, the, oh, the jack point is really good on it. Everything. I, I can't. I don't know what I expected, but um, you have to look yourself on the body, the sign, yeah, that's centered. Wow. The actual where the um. where actually the fretboard meets the neck, because it's pure mahogany. Um, it's amazing, a mahogany neck and body. The actual fitting is better than my Les Paul. It's flawless. And this guitar was extremely cheap. Sorry, I've, I've got to, um, I've got to play this. Um, so I said it's not going to be um, a kind of full blown review. I'm just basically testing. And I've tested, looked at the bodywork and all the fixtures and fittings, and it's all perfect. The volume and tone pots got a lovely, reassuring feel to it. I can't believe it. I haven't tuned it. It came all the way from Germany to the UK in tune. That's the actual neck in the middle, uh, neck in the bridge. The neck. The bridge. Yeah, the only thing I probably will do, um, I will, um, you know, I've, <laughs> I've since um, seen the benefits of going to lighter gauge strings and nines. Um, the benefit is not for everyone. Um, because I do a lot of bends and slurries and things like that, I find it much more easy to do that with nines. the graphic equaliser makes a difference. Okay, I'll 
I'll see what I'll be doing tonight. Um, annoying the neighbours and uh, playing my guitar all night. But I, I'm just, I'm just kind of um, blown away with, and it's slightly opaque, so I can, st I can see the, the grain in it. I don't know if you can see that. If the camera's picking it up, it's, it's slightly translucent. You know, but even the the fittings for the back plate, it's all countersunk and fitted to perfection. Hope the switch, the cover, and and the actual potentiometers. How do they do that for so little money? Can think about this. Um, the um, TV lit yellow Gibson model. This is about. I don't know, sixteen hundred two grand. Correct me if I'm wrong. It's got me knocking on the door of that. I mean, these guitars initially came out in nineteen fifty five. Wow. Sustain. Basically, that is, um, this is a guitar what someone told me I should look at and even invest in one. I mean, I have to be quite clear, no one sponsors me. Every guitar I'll get is for my own money. Um, if I want something and I can't afford it, I'll have to sell a couple, which I did, to finance this, you know, um, so I can bring out content on, on my video channel, if you know what I mean. But this... I mean, equivalent Epiphone, what are they? I'm going to basically kind of, um, um, I'll do my research in terms of all the, what it's made from and et cetera and all that and look at some of the reviews out there and what sort of feedback I'm getting. Some of it, I looked at some of them, it's quite positive. Um, but I totally forgot about this. Um, so I just had to do it and I just had to be done. Um, it's a present to myself. All those hard working years and the things I've done in my life. <laughs> Genuinely blown away. Um, without going over the top, but this is a superb example. Um, I love the uh, um, the actual bridge. I've never had one before, and it's got you can intonate it. It's got the two marks, two screws there. You can intonate them, but I think it's that. I think it's in tune. <laughs> Intonation is fine. Right, this is the uh, this is the um, Harley Benton. Come on, come on. That 
and it's beautiful, isn't it? Do not worry about. I'm going to worry, I'm worry about this. Might upstage my um, SC five fifty twos. This is absolutely a fantastic example. Anyway, thank you for watching um, my unwrapping and sharing this um, special moment with me. I will basically be playing it, um, changing the strings um, to nines and then um, getting used to it. Um, um, I can't seem to think any flaws or any damage to it is absolutely spotless. No flaws whatsoever. Um, absolutely incredible. Um, and then what I'll be, I'll be uploading this week. Um, um, this coming week, strap type guitar. That's going to be interesting. Guitar um, upload for people who cannot afford a really expensive t uh, strap type guitar, and, and you want something which could literally rival anything out there. Um, we have a few fet in here and there which I've done unbelievable. Um, I'll be pairing. Um, two brands against each other and li literally going through and telling you from my experience well, what makes them different and why really um, one potentially is better than the other um, not the tone for um, reliability gigging you know that kind of thing without if you don't want to be let down but this I'm absolutely loving it anyway thank you very much for taking the time to experience this special moment with uh, with me, um, and I will basically um, be uploading a video in the next few days. So, um, if you haven't subscribed, uh, subscribe. It'll really help me out. I'm trying to my best to hit the thousand mark. Um, I'm just I'm just kind of. Um, it's just my granddaughter, she said to me, Dad, uh, Granddad, you know, you need to, you know, take it a bit seriously. You know, she said, Look, you know, um, you, you enjoy it. Um, yeah, I do enjoy it. She said, You've got 13 subscribers. You know, you've been doing it for some time. He says, Take it a bit seriously, put on content which, which basically um, resonates with you and it will appeal to. Um, a larger audience and exactly what's happened. So it's jumped up from 13,000, no, 13, 13 subscribers to nearly over 800. So I'd love to hit that magical thousand. Um, and I'll do something really special if I achieve that. So help me out and um, I won't disappoint. I'll really bring out some exciting content regarding um, my passion for guitars and look at options which is available to the you know to the um, bedroom player gigging musician up and coming musicians people who are passionate about this musical instrument we call the guitar okay uh, bye for now